Hi guys, Ruthman from Overclocking TV and we are here uh, doing the Computex actually at uh, one of the room uh, that Intel is actually so showing the press uh, a little bit more about Broadwell, the, the latest CPU that they uh, released. Uh, so this CPU was supposed to be only a mobile one but they did a desktop version because people were, they say because people were asking for it. Uh, there's actually a two SKU for it if I'm right. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the 5775C. And as you can see, I'm actually still benching uh, that uh, CPU. Uh, right now it's uh, 3.6 uh, gigahertz, so it's like 300 megahertz more than what it is uh, supposed to be. Uh, so far, the few overclocking results that we saw were uh, based up to 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, we tried to change a little bit of the settings. At uh, 4.2 was pretty much the maximum that we could get. Uh, we, we got told by the guys at Intel that the issue is not about the, like the technology use, uh, no, not the voltage. It's, it's more the way the CPU is designed, so we have to... The, the, the story that we got told is that uh, the CPU was supposed to be only mobile and they did a desktop version, but you cannot have access to all the information. Uh, so far we did test on two systems, we test on the one gigabyte and one ASUS. Uh, so far the gigabyte one we had um, access to some of the settings too, and on the ASUS I haven't tested yet exactly all the all the systems but uh, we'll uh, let us know what you said and actually we can uh, talk a little bit about more about that during the live stream for for this weekend the HW wall tour and um, other one thing that is uh, new in this uh, CPU is actually on the memory side if you look at the cache so they have the L4 cache and right now it's 128 megabyte of cache uh, so of course you have like a, a, a lot of information so that will actually uh, help the CPU to store some information faster and uh, access them faster because the cache is always closer to the CPU um, uh, the, the graphic inside the CPU is the uh, uh, HD 6200, so that's the new, uh, like the uh, new evolution of the Iris, uh, Iris uh, GPU. Actually, Iris graphic processor from the uh, from the Intel. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, 4.2 gigahertz. That's pretty much it. And to be honest, we I can't wait to wait for the official desktop part that will come later on this year. They don't want to comment on any date. And uh, I hope that until then we can uh, still. Uh, test a little bit what's going on and uh, maybe clock it even more. Don't forget, until then, keep pushing it.